Earth Sounds, last but not least. It's time for us. Y'all are the last ones up this week. Your card is Knight of Swords. Oh, let me write that down. Because that's what I do. Alrighty. Earth signs, your very last. Welcome to Shadow of Judgment for all of those who are joining us today. This is for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. After all, it is just a card game, which I just threw all over my damn floor. Yay. Okay. If you happen to want a personal reading, please hit me up in my email, Instagram, or Facebook below. I prefer my email, but whatever is easier for you. First reading is on the house after all. Everything else comes with the price. And I take tips and donations. Thank you very much in advance. Earth signs. This is for what's going on in the shadows, the nooks, the crannies, what you might not know about, what's going to show in the freaking circle or in all four corners. Things you might not know about, things that might be below the surface, um, things that might be happening in the shadow side, either by you or somebody else, or things you just are happening in the background you don't know about at all. Now that we got that out of the way, it's Horace, you're up first, and we definitely got some cards for you, baby. Taurus, there you are. You're all miffed and upside down, and you're trying to get your heart fixed, right? There might be somebody trying to go against the buck and you're bucking them back with your head or your horns. You're kind of being a bull in a china shop right now. Being like, I will break you by being really hostile to you. And there is nothing you can do about it. Being really pushy and like that. <clears throat> Let me tell you, the scariest thing in the world is telling the tourists, no. We're not going with what they want. Because they could be real. Like, usually they're pretty down to earth. But when they want something, they'll push for it. Someone is listening to their intuition with this. There might be a commitment breaking up, too, as well. Someone was playing some fuck-fuck games and didn't realize they played the games a little bit too hard that they won forever. Uh, someone may be very selfish with their feelings, and someone is very intuitive about this devil relationship right here. Now, this person wants to come back and offer you love, dude, and you're like, yeah! You know. Jesus. Okay. Ooh, let's see. It's Horus! This person wants to come back and offer you love, but then they expect you to pay for everything. This is like the dude in red, like the Hierophant. This is like him on the go. This is his favorite outfit, right? He's even got like weird ass shoes that don't match his outfit at all. Why are you going to wear blue, white, and red and then put on green shoes? I don't care what century that, that is. Like, geez. Have some respect for yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, the colors just throw me off with that dude shoot. It's just like, how dare you um, be able to pull that off and still be insulting to my eyesight, you know? But anyway, um... It's like somebody wants to come offer you love just so you can take care of them. But intuitively, it's like there's the devil right here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, right? With Between both of these. But it's like you're recognizing, like... Or somebody is recognizing. One of the two of you are recognizing that this is like a really bad relationship, but they're still waiting on something. Now, this Queen of Pentacles is being very demanding. Might be an overbearing mother, a cheating spouse, uh, mouthy, expecting more from people, expecting somebody just to give her something, right? She's very sad looking in this side. Uh, there's some heartbreak that needs to be fixed, but there could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that's just being hard-headed and just being like, you know what, I'm giving up. And that's probably what someone's waiting for. It's just kind of like, I know this is a terrible relationship, but damn it, that's like maybe. And, you know, just sitting there all sad and alone expecting somebody to give something to them, but it's like they aren't offering anything. Why are you so loud all of a sudden? There's no need for that kind of freshness, phone. Okay? Mm. Let's see. Why is this person giving up, Taurus? Um, they've been left out in the cold. 
and they'd rather just start with a clean slate. Just forget any of this happened, right? Um, walk away despite their feelings. But they're still trying to keep an eye out on you in case things could work out. And so they're just biding their fucking time. Okay, so they're just walking away for now, but they want to check and see, you know, like, is there any way I can get back in? You know, because that's what it looks like they're looking for. It's like, they, it's like the commitment ended and you ended it because you figured out that they're playing games and you just walked away and they want to come back um, as a knight. And just be like, I love you. Can I have like 10 bucks, please? And intuitively, you're just like, okay. But it's like you also notice this is a bad idea to have this kind of connection with the person. So now you're just sitting there waiting. Probably for them to pay you your money. So you don't beat their ass. You never know. You, ne you never know, Taurus. But that's your shadow for this week, right? Oh, yeah. This is for the week of... Um, the 16th to the 23rd of August, y'all. So, there you go. Totally forgot about that. You're the only ones I did that to today. Oh, mind you, cross watch or switch where you need to. We don't judge here. Well, we judge everybody equally. We're all equal opportunity assholes. Each and every one of us. Just never forget that. I know, kids. Just, yeah, just carve that right into that board. It's okay, man. I'm proud of you. You're doing a good job. Yes, you are. You do a good job. You scratch that and not my freaking wall. That'd be awesome. Maybe I can use that to replace the wall. That's not a bad idea. I'm telling my husband that. Anyway, Virgo, you're up next. So what's your shadow? Booty card man. He's riding in to make it. You know? <laughs> Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius... And here we got a cancer right in for victory. This dude might be running away from this cancer, to be quite frank. <laughs> might be just be like, wee! No, I'm not going towards you. This cancer's riding forward, though. This chariot, he might be trying to go to a victory right here. A door is opening. Hmm. Could be a marriage. Uh, Gemini right here as well. This person over here is listening to their intuition, and this person is... that who was it that like I, I had that and it was just kind of like it wasn't the end of the fighting it was like something else I don't know oh yeah if this is a marriage don't no <laughs> this is a terrible fucking <laughs> wow okay hmm this person's keeping their mouth shut about their intuition too but there are no one to run Wow, okay, could be an Empress. Uh, Aries, of course, I already said. Also could be Taurus, also Libra, that Venetian energy. But it really could be anybody, honestly. But those are the top three cards, and I definitely think it could be an Aries in this. But it's like, they're on the run in secret, but they're sitting there presently looking patient, calm. The Empress, like, she isn't doing anything. Like, I'm just minding my own business. And my watermelon dress. <laughs> Meanwhile, this person's got like a, some enabling behaviors. So I figure they're definitely the dude on this side since they're on this side. Asking for more from the bitch. Alright. Got their back turned while they're looking at all the bad shit that they've done. The hell, Taurus? Or not Taurus, Virgo. And another waiting period. That's just, yeah, Virgo, Taurus just had that too. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to... Yeah, I'll leave it there. That... That kind of creeps me out, because that's the exact same thing that Taurus just had, too. Oof. Oof. Okay. So this person's running away, and they're keeping some shit secret, or they're using their intuition to figure out where to go to. And the meanwhile, they're acting like the Empress. All happy, calm, and whatnot, and, like, you know, there's a desire for communication between her and this waiting period a door is open but unfortunately this marriage that's just represented by the four of wands is also a marriage of terrible terrible things which someone is also waiting for 
when it comes to this communication. However, something either is to get resurrected or something is a bad idea. Um, this chariot's charging forward, but what they're charging forward into, I feel like, is more like bad conflict than anything. Based on, like, enabled behaviors, codependency, shit like that, and there might not be a resurrection involved in this relationship, or something bad comes of this because of somebody making the bad judgment. What is this bad judgment called? Like, I, like, that, that, I don't know why I'm picking up that the Five of Wands reverse is definitely bad. It's like the fighting gets worse, or the battling gets worse, or someone gets way more petty. This is not a good relationship. <clears throat> this is the crossroads for everybody involved. Like Virgo, I don't know Virgo, I don't know where you the fuck you are. Like there's only one pentacle card, and that's like the seven of pentacles reverse, and that has nothing like it's like not, it's like you don't have a it's like you're watching two people who hate each other. It's weird. But there's a crossroads here in this situation. Um, once again, it could be Cancer. Also, Pisces or Scorpio. This person's really selfish. And they don't think about anybody else's feelings, I feel like. It's almost like they're too busy worried about their own feelings to consider others. So maybe that's why this resurrection isn't coming up. Ooh, Cancer once again. Secrets could be revealed. Um, there could be a fire sign who turns around and is just like, oh, What? I don't like these. Um, I need to make choices and decisions when it comes to these. Damn it, that's great. So there could be a fire... Like, that fire sign up here could, like, have an attitude when it comes to it. Maybe this King of Cups does something, reveals a secret right here, or has a secret that sets this guy off. To turn around be King King, put a, make himself, um, seem like he's the authority figure, and probably, like, I don't know, make somebody cry or anxious or keep them up at night or some shit. But that's almost what's going on in your shadow. I don't know if this is even has anything to do with you, Virgo. Like, I know you've been dealing with a water sign for a while. But I don't know if this has anything to do with you, because it's like you're not even in here. It's like you're... It's almost like you're sitting... You're doing your analyzation thing. You're, like, sitting there looking things over. And, like, it's almost like you're... Picking something up, but I don't know what it is just yet. But that's your week coming up. That's a little bit confusing, but okay. So, Capricorn, da da da, Capricorn, freaking annoying goats. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's just go on for your week, Capricorn. Please don't be as confusing as you were last week. That shit, like, you totally threw me off a loop because it was just like, what the hell is going on here? I don't understand. Alright, Capricorns, you have Air Sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody's on the lookout spying for your shadow. While you whistle, while you work. Okay, kitten, I'm sorry. I will stop whistling, okay? Definitely could be dealing with a Libra in this. Um, not a fair one, though, since justice is reversed. Something might be wrong? Like, this, somebody is looking for a way to offer a cup somewhere. Dealing with the past, right? Somebody's working on something in order to get their head straight. And something's unfair, so someone's just like, fuck it, I'm 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 going home. I do not give it two dams. You, it's like you pay me enough any like I don't need your pay anyway. I'll just go get another job. Uh. Right? Right. Hmm. You guys got a lot of error in you. But I don't know if this is you either. They're like, there's only one... Okay, no, there's two pentacles. Okay. Never mind, I'll shut the fuck up now. Anyway. 
Capricorns, someone snooping and spying and looking up information, possibly even try to communicate some love. They're both looking in the same direction. Um, only in order to um, cause some sort of uh, blending, coming together, mutual communication with the Temperance card, bring patience, peace, quelling. They're actually validating emotions and actually taking the time to be like, ah, I care. But they got a thousand yard stare on them like they don't sleep or something or they drink too much maybe. I don't know. Uh, there's some unfairness involved and it might just deal with a Libra. And there's Libra's card right there. Also Gemini or Aquarius. So somebody decided to walk away from things that no longer serve them and just cut some shit out. Which probably involves this home environment with this King of Cups right here. Right? You might be sick of somebody's shit because they just kept leaving the house. Like They probably let the dog shit all over the house, honestly. And then looked at you and was just like, you know what? It really smells like dog poop in here. You should clean it up. Can you? And you're just like, yes, I can clean it up. Like, Jesus Christ, it's not like I don't already do enough. You know, I, I, I like, I work. I don't, I don't just do nothing. I work, you know, that's what, well, at least that's what I would say if someone was telling me to do shit. You know, I'd just be like, don't be coming in here expecting me to do any extra. Like, you know, I work a lot of fucking hours. I don't, I don't just fuck around a job like I would here. Like, I come home and relax for a reason. But most people don't realize that, like, Capricorn's home life and their work life are completely fucking separate. At work, we work. At home, we do absolutely nothing. That's why most of our houses are crowded and look all dirty and shit. That's just a confession. <laughs> but it's like you want to cut out this crazy home where I feel like... It's almost like you don't feel like you're appreciated. Like, you work really hard. And that's what helps you, like... Get your mind out of, like, all the stuff that bothers you. And it's almost like you want to offer your cup somewhere else. It's like you're dealing with somebody who's really immature. And they start pretending that they're mature. Like, there's the page of cups right here. And they're trying to offer their cup in order to get this way. But it's like, as soon as you get the cup, it's like, they just dead stare at you like, What? I'm not, not, like, no, I'm, like, it's cool, man. It's like, you let's, you don't do anything at the house anyway. I do all the work here. And it's just, and you're just like, you know what? I don't bust my ass just so, um, someone can make me feel like I'm, I, I, like, I don't do shit around here. Like, that's really annoying. Like, that's, like, that's a big annoyance. Like, don't ever assume a Capricorn doesn't do something. The only place we don't do anything is our house because we live there and, we're, and we work enough at work. Just give us a break, you know. Well, I don't know, because that could be anybody. Like, nobody wants to get nagged to do more shit when they're home trying to relax after a long day of work. Like, yeah, the house might need cleaned, but, you know, sometimes people need to recharge more than they do need to clean their house. Just give them a break. Like, life is exhausting enough as it is, you know? So let's see, what are we going to look at, Capricorn? Let's look at this dude's intentions, because I feel like he's the one who's just kind of coming up to you, being like, you know... I feel like you don't do anything, and I think that's why you cut them out. Yeah, they kind of did some shit to themselves. What? And he's got the two fingers, like, there's still things that are unknown to them, right? Like, they don't know you know? Like, they were being a bit of a control freak, but that cycle's ended and a new one's coming up. Um, you might be standing your truth being like, look, bitch, I said no. Get the fuck out of my house, right? Um, you might not be telling a lot of, like, you know, you might not be saying anything, Capricorn, either. Just to be f quite frank, like, you might not. You might not, you might just not tell anybody a damn thing, honestly. Let's see. And that's why you're not going anywhere towards this shit. Like, it's like you're aware that they're holding something back from you. Like, you can't pinpoint it with your intuition. And because you don't know what it is with your intuition immediately, you're just like, nah, I ain't going anywhere near this Ten of Pentacles ever again until, like, I get the information straight, you know. Capricorns are woke creatures, but we make fear-based decisions. <laughs> so if we think something's funky, but we can't come up with like a, a practical, logical reason for why it's funky, 
We don't go, we don't touch it. We don't like we don't have an answer, or we don't assume, or we don't know if we're absolutely correct before making a choice or a step or a decision. No, 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 no. We're we're not going anywhere. No, you stay on your side of the fence. Go away. You know. Let me get one more for you, Cap, because this is interesting. You know. Hey, how about you stop trying to ruin my f crow feather, man? I got that very nicely, and I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't even know why that thing's sinking. It didn't sink this entire time. Oh, you got two more. Um, I don't even think the breakup pissed you off as much as it is the relationship itself pissed you off. Like, you were already unhappy, and now you're separated. Really? I just turned you down. That's dramatic. That's like the beginning of a fucking anime. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you were already unhappy, and then you guys broke up. Uh, yeah, yeah, fuck it. I, this is my sign anyway. I'm nosy. Let's, who, who cares? So you got your guard up when it comes to this person, right? And you're holding up your strength because you know that this shit's going to bring you more grief than what you want to, and you're definitely not going to offer anything to it, right? So this person might be feeling left out in the cold, following you around like, hey, I got a bell. Will you please help me? And you're just like walking faster. But, like, even though they're crippled, they're keeping pace. This is like, Jesus fucking Christ, is your name Mobility Mary? Ah! You know, you're running because you know that, like, this is a bad relationship. And Capricorn, that's your card, so you would definitely know. Um, you're still not offering anything. It's like they suck you dry, and you're looking at the options, and they still give you bullshit. Like an idiot. Capricorn, whoever this person is you're dealing with. And also, Crosswatchers, remember, switch them where you need to. Don't come in here telling me, like, la 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 la. Because, you know, like that. I am just a messenger. Whoever, what comes out, I don't know. It all depends on who I'm vibing with. If my vibe's with you, I'm probably, I'm probably talking about you. So, that's just how it goes. Or whatever it is. But, um, Capricorns, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who. They had problems or something. It was like they were always looking for a reason, and then when they and then like they would be childish about it with the page of cups, saying like "I love you, but I need you to do this for me." Like they were acting like a fucking child, or they expected you to take care of them all the time, which is annoying. You know, like yeah, I'll, I'll take care of you, but you better be capable of doing the same back. Or at least trying to attempt to act like an adult sometimes, so I don't have to take care of you all the time. Like I'm your, like you're my responsibility or some shit. But I don't know, Caps. It's like this person expects a lot from you, but gives so little. But you've been dealing with somebody like that for a while anyway. A lot of you have anyway. But that's all I got for you, Earth signs, right? If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. You don't have to if you don't want to. No pressure, of course. But I will see you guys later. Love your faces and bye-bye.